Like it or not, the boss. I'm gonna need you to go ahead and come in tomorrow. Which means that after years of blissful at home Yay! remote work, it is once again for you to face the unpleasant task of getting back into the office. But no, it doesn't have to be a soul deadening experience. Commuting could actually be fun and enjoyable. And I know just the thing you need. This week, why I think the electric unicycle is the best thing you can ride to work. Look at this view, isn't that reason enough? My top pick for an EUC and what it is you should look for. It is time to get back to work. We're on the intro. One makes you if you enjoyed this video, subscribe for more EUC content and hit that like button to help spread the EUC love. Now I've been living here in New York City most of my life and until quite recently I had to compute just like everybody else. And I'm proud to say that the New York City subway is probably one of the best public transportation system in the world. It may be a bit dirty and chaotic but it is also huge very efficient and runs 24 7 a day but it also means being stuck in a crowded train in an underground tunnel for two hours a day and i doubt anyone who rides the subway actually enjoys it which is why i had always been searching for alternatives bicycle seems to be the obvious choice and come with the benefit of exercise and fresh air which is a precious commodity here in the city but it is also unfortunately slow and difficult to lock up in the bicycle theft capital of the world. Sparks fly as this bicycle thief cuts off the lock with an electric saw. Off he goes. Sort of need an office shower so you don't smell like a water buffalo for your morning meetings. From there, I moved up to a Vespa and eventually a larger motorcycle, which is faster and more convenient. But here in Midtown New York City, it's not easy to find legal parking even on two wheels. I need better options. My perfect commuter vehicle will be something that is fast enough to keep up with traffic but have enough agility to go around it when things inevitably jammed up. Remember traffic jam? That used to be a thing. And seething frustration. It's a nightmare. It needs to be comfortable for a medium range ride and have enough fuel or battery to last you 40 miles, all the while being small enough to comfortably fit underneath your office desk. There's quite a few choices that satisfy the first four requirements, but a compact size is a really tough one. A folding bicycle is the rare exception, but as you can see, even the smallest folding bike is still a decent size when you packed it up. You can forget about anything that runs on gas since you can't bring them indoor, and even electric scooter, which is what most people think of immediately when the subject of PEV commuter comes up, quickly grows in size and weight as soon as you start stepping up to the higher power and suspension equipped models and nothing come close to an electric unicycle when it comes to the raw density of performance to size ratio with even the largest and most powerful model come in not much larger than the average carry-on rolling luggage. Not that I'm saying that the largest and most powerful electric unicycle make for the best commuter, which brings us to the five things you should look for when it comes to finding that perfect EUC to make your morning commute a joy. range. The wheel should have enough juice to cover about 40 miles, with 10 to 15 miles being a comfortable distance to cover inside of an hour so on a one-way commute. A 40-mile range give you a comfortable margin, eliminate the need to recharge the wheel at work, and give you enough headroom so that you aren't always riding your battery down to empty, which is actually terrible for the longevity of your battery pack. Two, the wheel should be waterproof. You wouldn't want to get stuck in the office just because of a little bit of rain and as long as you are properly prepared, riding in the rain ain't bad at all. Now not all EUC manufacturers go through the IPX certification and just because an EUC isn't rated don't mean that it isn't sealed. 
but unless you are familiar with the model, it's probably best sticking with wheels that are IP rated. Three, comfort. Even if you only have to be in the office for three days a week, all that daily riding still translating to a whole lot of time on your wheel. So comfort is definitely huge. A wheel with excellent ergonomic design and comfortable seated riding options and suspension to cushion you against life's many surprises is I think not just good to have but absolutely necessary. Now seated riding is slightly trickier to master but with time it does get a whole lot easier and that is what you have plenty of when you're riding your wheel daily on your commute. And once you get used to it, it is an absolute godsend especially on longer ride. For convenience, there should be an easy to deploy and solid trolley handle that let you easily push the wheel around when you're not riding it which is actually a much more frequent occurrence than you would imagine. You also need a gray headlights that let you both see where you're going as well as increasing your visibility to the other drivers at night while not blinding everyone else with the brights. Unfortunately a surprisingly rare option for electric unicycles. Finally performance. Now the concern here isn't so much about speed and acceleration rather than braking because electric unicycle rely on motor braking which means that the more power you have the quicker you'll be able to stop and honestly there's no better safety feature than the ability to be able to come to a complete stop very quickly plus it's nice to have additional headroom and the fact that motor tend to be smoother when they're in the middle of their power band so you really should base your wheel selection on the kind of speed that you think you actually hit on your commute route don't buy more power and range than you need because in addition to paying more, you also will be dealing with a much larger and heavier wheel. Given all these requirements, I'm gonna pick three different electric unicycle in three different price range and tell you why I think they're a good choice and their pros and cons. On the lower end, my pick would be the Motion VAS. There are not a lot of choices below the $2,000 mark and no suspension options. My preference would be for a larger diameter wheels, but again, it gets more expensive. The VAS gets the nod because it's based on a reliable platform with proven waterproofing performances and carries a decent sized battery, giving it close to the 40 miles range, which I think is the minimum requirement. It is a bit more polished and better designed than its competitor and has a solid trolley handle and is light enough to be easily carried. It is too small to accommodate a seat and has a weaker motor than its more expensive cousin, the V10F, but the combination of its feature and price offer good values for anyone just looking for a no-frill and reliable transport. Next in the middle tier, we have the Emotion V11, which I really think hits a sweet spot when it comes to a balance between price and features. It comes with pretty basic suspension system, double vertical piston, and not as great as some of the newer and higher end suspension models, but sufficient for regular street conditions. The wheel is decently waterproof with IP67 rating on the battery pack, which at 1500 watt is enough to get you about 50 miles of range. It is also tall and comes with a very comfortable seat and a very cleverly designed trolley handle which allow you to keep the seat attached while still pushing the wheel around and actually also allow you accessing a lower handle to lift the wheel if you need to. That combined with the gray headlights with excellent brightness and shaping plus a solid mid-range motor performances make this Emotion V11 what I think to just be about like the perfect choice when it comes to a commuter electric unicycle in the $2,000 range. Finally, for the high-end wheel in the $4,000 range, I'm going to pick the Sherman S as my favorite. Now counting the humongous Master Pro, which isn't exactly practical, the Sherman S actually has the best range out of all the high-performance wheel, and I myself regularly see around 100 miles of range with a single charge. It doesn't carry any IP rating, but it's very well sealed, and I had no issues with regularly riding this wheel in the rain. It also 
will come with the best suspension system available right now which makes it very comfortable to ride in all kind of conditions but it is a little bit short which means that it will require some sort of aftermarket mod to make it a more comfortable seated riding experience but conversely because of its smaller and more compact size for a big wheel that is that makes it easier to maneuver and stash so easier to live with and although it's a little bit flexy i actually think the building trolley handle is pretty comfortable to use and it's well balanced and make pushing the wheel around pretty easy to do it is a little bit excessive when it comes to the purpose of commuting however for someone who's used to the high speed and performances of the higher end wheel among its cousins of extreme wheels i think the sherman s is actually the most reasonable of the high performance electric unicycle that you can buy right now Sorry, ladies. So, what is your commuter electric unicycle of choice, and what worked and what didn't for you? Share your experience in the comment section below. And you know what? Once again, I ramble on too low and somehow managed to waste another 15 minutes of your life, but I hope you enjoyed it. Shout out to my supporter on Patreon. Please check out the link in the video description below if you enjoy and like to support my work. And as always, as much as we all love electric unicycle, the only way for us to get better wheels is to grow as a community. So tell your friend, teach them how to ride and get them hooked. Until the next video, thank you. Just a tell When the man on the chessboard Got one